More than 10 million Americans have actinic keratosis, a potentially precancerous skin condition which develops from years of cumulative exposure to ultraviolet rays, such as sunlight or tanning beds. It mostly affects people of light skin and eye color living in sunny climates. Although, people living all over the country who spend time outdoors, working, gardening, playing sports, or just walking the dog have an increased risk of developing actinic keratosis. Actinic keratosis is usually a rough, scaly patch on your face, lips, ears, back of your hands, forearms, scalp, or neck. Over time, the spots may become hard and wart-like. It usually begins as a patch that just feels different from surrounding skin. Rough, gritty, scaly, or crusty. It can increase in size, begin bleeding, become discolored, or cause discomfort like pain or itching. Actinic keratosis can range in color from skin toned to red to brown, and can be as small as a pinhead or larger than a quarter, and it can be flat or raised. Because it's impossible to tell exactly which patches or lesions will develop into skin cancer, most doctors remove them, particularly if the patient has a weakened immune system as a result of chemotherapy, chronic leukemia, AIDS, or organ transplant. Actinic keratosis removal and treatment options may include freezing, the most common treatment takes just a few minutes. An extremely cold substance such as liquid nitrogen is applied, causing blistering or peeling. As your skin heals, the lesions slough off, allowing new skin to appear. Topical creams that modify the skin's immune system to stimulate your body's own rejection of precancerous cells. Chemical peels cause lesions to blister and peel, allowing new skin to emerge. Dermabrasion removes the lesion with a rapidly moving brush. Scraping, followed by electrosurgery, cuts out and destroys the affected tissue with an electric current. Photodynamic and laser therapies can be used to precisely remove actinic keratosis. And ointments, which destroy actinic keratosis cells using a chemotherapy drug. Actinic keratosis is usually very responsive to treatment. Your doctor can talk to you about advantages, disadvantages, risks, and time required for each of these treatment options.